No epithelial defect, so it's not really going to adhere perfectly well. She'll be able to pinch it out. Okay. Yeah, at the end. Oh my gosh, of course, yeah. So we're treating both eyes. I'm sorry, one eye, but we'll put, put a drop typically in both eyes, but for demo, we don't have to. She's an experienced patient. Okay. <laughs> not her first rodeo. Not her first rodeo, my friend. If you open it too quickly, it'll just go in the air and be, you know, so I try and open it just enough to where I can then grab it. I cleaned this already for you. So you want to grab, grab the edge and you're going to try and place it over with your left hand. Your left hand will be the speculum that holds your eye open. Your right hand obviously is placing it. You're going to try, she's going to look directly at your eye and you're going to try and center the aperture over her pupil. Got it. That's it. Just don't let go. <laughs> they are so thin that just the heat, the convection of warm air movement from your hand or from the eye oh, makes wow, it bend. Wild. Now these are, are, you can use either side. We say they're bi-directional. So if it starts to curl one way, you can just flip it over. Flip, flip the whole forcep over. And, just place and then right it'll down. open right back up. And then, oh. yep. All right. So I'll be your assistant. I'll have your bandage lens ready to go. I have it ready to go already. We don't want to introduce too much moisture onto a membrane that's trying to adhere to the eye. Once, once you have that on, use the back edge of the forcep to kind of smooth it on a bit. Then I'll trade with you and you'll use this to kind of roll over it like a little rolling pin to get it to make sure you have 100% surface area contact and then bandage lens on. You can go right in, right in front, wherever you're comfortable. Typically, I'm, I'm really face to face. Now, she's a good patient. She's not going to move her lower lid, but most folks, you'd want to hold their upper and lower lid. When you're ready, I'll trade with you. Good. Just like a little rolling pin, gently rolling it onto the eye. Not so much pressing, more rolling, because pressing you're going to have maybe 50-60% surface area contact. Rolling you can get 100%, but obviously we're just practicing. Take your bandage lens. In front of her, it's easiest with your thumb, if you're face to face with her, to kind of get it on the tip of your thumb and then straight on. If you think of touching your thumb to her pupil, you'll have it. I can't my pointer. You it's can. Membrane on, then a contact over. Is this the patient's contact okay, that you're putting on the CO for it? It could be. Okay. It could yeah. be. Perfect. Perfect. Huh. Yes. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Gabe. Hey, okay, yeah. And then, and then he's going to take a fat. You want to see what it looks like up close? He's, he's got a wonderful imaging Which device. Uh, this, one. this one? All right. Perfect. Anterior and posterior seg images, as well as lashes. So let's try and get one from this. Side. Comes with a phone, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So this will clean up. Yeah, for a first time, that was really good. That was really good. He's going to bill your insurance. <laughs> if we were doing it that way, it would have been billed 12 times yesterday for the same eye. <laughs>